creamy, delicious risotto is easy to make, and you can have it on your table in about 20 minutes. Now, the two most important things in making a risotto are the two main ingredients. You need to have a delicious, flavorful stock, and you need to buy the right rice. Risotto rice, called arborio rice. It's a short grain rice with a high starch content, and when you stir it, it breaks down, and that's what makes risotto so delicious and creamy. We're gonna start by heating our stock, whether it's chicken or vegetable stock, heat it up to a boiling point, and then reduce it to just a simmer and let it sit on your stove. Turn your heat on your saute pan. Turn it on to about medium, medium high, and we're gonna start with onion. Every risotto starts with chopped onion. Chop it finely and cook it in a little bit of olive oil and butter. Olive oil has a higher smoke point. Butter has a lot of flavor. Combine the two together and you get the best of both worlds. In goes our onion. And we're gonna cook that for about two or three minutes just until it's soft and translucent. So once your onion is starting to soften, you're gonna add the garlic just for about 30 seconds to a minute because garlic has a tendency to burn very quickly and we don't want that. The next step is adding the rice. You always wanna add the rice to the fat in the pan and coat it completely. It gives it a better flavor and almost toasts the rice a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building our risotto. And we do that by adding liquid gradually. When you make regular rice, long grain rice, you put the rice and the liquid all together at one time. With risotto, you do it in stages. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some white wine. That's gonna give us another whole level of flavor. If you don't like to cook with wine, you can just leave this step out and move to the next step. But in goes our wine. That's gonna stop the toasting. You're gonna hear that simmering and the alcohol will boil off giving you a beautiful layer of flavor. And we're gonna start getting ready to stir this in. You want to wait until the liquid has almost disappeared. Now the test to know when you're ready to add more liquid is simple. Run the spoon down the bottom of the pan and you should be able to see a trail, see the bottom of the pan there before the liquid comes back together. Now it's time to start adding our stock. It's important that the stock be warm, not hot, but warm. Add a ladle full of stock and stir it in and let that get absorbed by the rice. It'll take a few minutes. You don't have to stand here and stir all the time. You can walk about the kitchen. You probably shouldn't leave the kitchen, but walk around the kitchen and give the pan a shake or a swirl every once in a while. So you're gonna keep on adding stock in stages. Again, remember the way to test to see if you need to add more stock is to run your spoon down across the pan. If you can see a trail of the bottom of the pan left in its wake, it's time to add another ladle full of stock. Now you can make risotto to this stage ahead of time. Just take it off the heat, don't refrigerate it, and when you're ready to eat, reconstitute it with a little more stock. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, your risotto is probably almost done. The way to check to see if it is done is to taste it. Just taste a couple of the grains and they should be tender. A little tiny bit of bite left to them, but tender for the most part. Now we're gonna turn the heat off and let's talk about flavoring your risotto with other ingredients. If you're putting an ingredient in that is a short cooking ingredient, like sliced asparagus, sliced really thin, or shrimp, you can incorporate it into the risotto in the last five minutes of cooking and it will cook there. Another way to add ingredients, however, is to simply saute them in a separate pan like mushrooms, for instance, saute them in butter, oil, put some herbs in there, and then incorporate them into the risotto at this stage. Now, once I've turned the heat off, I wanna add one last ladle full of stock to this risotto. If you've run out of stock, which you might, you can just simply add some hot water. One more ladle full of stock. Stir that very gently. Remember, you're off the heat at this point. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese now. Remember, when you're making something like this, there are very few ingredients, so it's really important that the ingredients be the best ingredients you can find. Great stock, arborio rice, and true Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. You'll know it's true because it says so right here on the rind. So I've grated some already. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup or so, as however much cheese as you like. I'm gonna add a little butter at the end to stir that in for extra creaminess. And this risotto is almost finished. Okay, last step is to season this well. Now, if you've used a salted chicken stock and you've put Parmesan cheese in here, those are both salty items. You're gonna taste it carefully and then season. Just a touch of salt, a little bit of black pepper. 
and some fresh herbs if you like. I like parsley a lot. I'm gonna put some parsley in there, stir this in, and then just let it sit and settle for about a minute before you put it onto the plate. So the last step is plating up this delicious risotto. It's traditional to put risotto on a plate, not a bowl. So we're going to take some and put it right into the center of the plate. It should slide out to the sides of the plate. It shouldn't be a heaping mound, but you should be able to take the plate at the end, give it a little shake like this, and that is perfect risotto. A little bit of parsley to garnish at the end, a little more cheese if you like, and make somebody very happy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to see everything I used today, click over here. And if you have any comments or suggestions for more basics, put them in the comments section right below.